going to talk about the two tests for COVID-19 or the coronavirus 2018. Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Vince Alba and today I am going to talk about a very relevant topic. I have actually talked about this in my TikTok, right? But I decided to create a video here on YouTube because I felt that one minute is really very short to discuss important details about the COVID test. So that's what I am talking about. COVID test for the coronavirus 2019 and I think that it is very relevant to just talk about it especially if you're not medically inclined person because sometimes there are terms that we don't know so I would like to share my knowledge and I hope you're going to watch this video and if you're new to my channel and if this is your first time to see me here on YouTube subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button below thank you guys all right, so we are going to talk about the two tests for COVID-19 or the coronavirus 2018. So first as we have the swab test, the second as we have the rapid antibody test. So in this video, we're going to understand in a very basic explanation, what is the difference or what are the differences between the two tests? So we are just going to, to know their difference on how that are being done, right? And also, a lot of people are concerned, what's the cost? Magkano ba yan? Kaya ba natin? So, isa pa yan sa concern at lagi natin nagtatanong. Gaano ba yan ka-reliable? Gaano ba yan ka-accurate? So, also, we, we, ha we will have to think about the accuracy level. Recommended ba yan ng DOH? Recommended ba yan ng CDC sa America? So, we have to think about it as well. Gaano katagal ginagawa ang test? So what's the duration? Gaano kabilis makuha ang test? Ano dapat ang expectations? Pag ako, na gusto kong magpa-test, or for example, nakaramdam ako ng mga sintomas ng, ng coronavirus, ano ang gagawin ko? Ano ba ang dapat set kong expectation before ako pumunta ng hospital? Masakit ba to? Ano ba ang ginagamit na specimen? So, doon natin malalaman. At dito sa video to, ipapaliwanag ko na para maintindihan ang lahat. At para kanino ang test? Yun ang ating pag-uusapan. Right? So, we go now first to the, the how. How it is being done. So, that's the first question. How it is being done. So, we do the swab test. I have talked this. I have talked about this in my TikTok account. So, how it is being done for the swab test. From the term itself, swab test. This is being carried out by using a cotton bud, right? Like a long cotton bud. Tapos, pinapasak yun sa ilong hanggang doon sa may pagitan ng, ng, ng nasal pharynx, doon sa end ng nose, hanggang doon sa throat. At parang meron siyang kakayahang mag-scrape sa dulo. Tapos, kukuha sila ng physical pieces. Kung meron kang coronavirus mismo, magdidikit doon yung virus tapos ilalagay sa specimen uh, sa, sa, sa specimen bottle then ipapadala sa laboratory so masakit ba yun? kasi pinapasok you just imagine ipapasok sa ilong mo pagkatapos parang iikuti ng konti para makapag-scrape doon or makapag, makakuha doon ng sample yes a lot of although I haven't experienced it myself but a lot of my friends even my, my previous students who are working, they're really saying that it is, you know, it's really causing discomfort. So just imagine if five to six centimeters of that swab, right, that the, the long swab to be inserted in your nose, right? And then um, it will cause, of course, para kang maluluha kasi irritable yung may papasok sa ilong mo kahit dito nga lang medyo ano na eh lalo na kung papasok dun sa bandang dulo so there's a discomfort for swab test then um, pinapadalhin sa laboratory tapos check kung mayroon kang 
of na collect na physical evidence na ikaw ay may coronavirus. Ngayon, kung mayroon kang coronavirus at that point, pwedeng makita doon ang virus itself. Now, we'll go to the other test. Yung sinasabi natin, rapid test antibody test. So, itong rapid antibody test, from the term itself, rapid, mas mabilis siya makuha. Right? Ang ginagamit natin dito, unlike doon sa, sa swab test natin, ay dugo. So, pwedeng mag-prick, mag-prick lang ng dugo sa or kumuha dito sa veins mo, parang yung principle ng parang pregnancy test, na parang mayroong strip, na doon dinadrop yung blood mo at sinecheck. Dito naman sa antibody test, so if you want to, to understand the whole concept of antibody test, yung antibody na tinatawag, yan yung pinoproduce ng immune system natin. As, as natural defense, ang immune system natin, meron yung kakayahang lumaban sa mga sakit or lumaban sa mga foreign microorganism. So, sa discussion natin na to, ayun ay um, may kakayahang siyang lumaban sa virus. So, yung virus na yun, lalabanan ng immune system mo, mag-develop siyang tinatawag na antibody. So, dito sa coronavirus, mag-develop siya ng antibody na immunoglobulin, to be specific, yun ang tawag doon. So, dalawang klase yun. Right? Immunoglobulin, immunoglobulin M at saka immunoglobulin G. Right? So, doon mag-react, pwede siyang pagsabay, pwede hiwalay, kaso kasi, ang DOH hindi niya nire-recommend. Kasi, pwede ka magkaroon ng false positive. Bakit? Kasi, yung kanyang pag-react ng immune system is very essential timing. Halimbawa, kung pupunta ka doon sa sa test center, or testing center, tapos na-expose ka na pala. Kaso, ang IgM mo, hindi pa yun mag-react kasi mag-react lang yun from 4 days to 7 days after mong ma-develop ang infection. So, for example, pumunta ka doon ng sabihin natin on your second day, wala pa, hindi pa nag-react yung immune system mo. So, magiging negative ka. In reality, mayroon kang infection. Doon naman sa Sa IgG, yun naman tinatawag na delayed reaction. Delayed naman yun mag-react. So usually, nag-react yun from 10 to 14 days after no ma-expose sa, sa infection. So pag after the 14 days, pa, halimbawa pumunta ka doon noon earlier time, syempre hindi pa nag-react, hindi pa yung nag-positive ng immune system mo, hindi pa nag, nag, nagbigay o hindi pa nag-produce ng immunoglobulin, magiging false positive ka rin. So ang nire-recommend pa rin ng DOH is yung swab test. Kaso, dito may mga advantages at disadvantages. Unang-una, the pricing or the cost. Siyempre, swab test is more reliable, uh, more recommended by the doctors or by the, by the DOH or, or by the CDC. Right? So, yun ay mas mahal. Actually, nag-range yung price nun from 3,000 to 8,000 pesos. It's very expensive. Especially kung hindi mo naman afford magpa-test. Tapos, yung sa kabilang side naman, yung rapid antibody test, nag-range lang yan from 300 to 700 to 800 pesos per kit. So, mas mura siya ng konti. Kaso nga lang, magkakaroon sila ng difference doon sa reliability. Sa duration naman, syempre rapid test, mas mabilis, and as fast as 45 minutes, makukuha mo na yung test, yung result. Pero, ito na ang swab test, the earliest that you could get is 24 hours. Kaso kasi yung mga testing centers natin, parang ginagawa nila by batch. Kayo maabot ng 1 to 3 days before the result. Or even yung ibang, test, yung ibang hospital nga, kasi sinesend out nila, 3 to 5 days pa bago magkaroon ng test. Or bago magkaroon ng result. So marami siyang indications. Ngayon ang doctor, ang nire-recommend niya talaga is, syempre, mas gusto ng doctor is yung swab test. Ginagawa yun, lalo na kung may present infection ka. So, magsuswab test ka, kung mayroon kang kubo, may sipon ka, nahirapan ka huminga, yung puro respiratory symptoms sa COVID, may pananakit sa katawan mo. So, pag may active symptoms ka, ay eh, test ka, tapos kung may, mayroon kang virus doon, kasi virus doon siya specific, hindi siya ang, ang I have to be clear ha, na hindi siya na, uh, ang, ang swab test, Pag specific lang doon sa virus na yun, yun lang makikita niya, hindi niya makikita yung ibang microorganism, bacteria or other viruses that's causing the person to get sick. Yun. Tapos, eto namang rapid test. Ginagawa siya since yun nga, yung challenge natin na expensive at saka hindi ganun ka-available ka, ka yung swab test. Kasi ang, ang binibigay lang nila yung may mga active symptoms or yung nire-recommend na mayroong ganun. So, halimbawa, 
uh, pandemic since it's pandemic marami sa isang lugar or or may travel history ka pwede ka magpa-test tapos kung mayroon kang exposed ka previously pwede ka magpa-test or kung mayroon kang um, halimbawa kasama sa trabaho laging positive or mayroon kang kasama sa bahay laging positive so pwede kang magpa-test yun so marami tayong ano so ang importante guys yung maintindihan lang natin yung basic na ang swab testing is more accurate at most and more recommended but again it's more expensive right and then yung rapid antibody test is also it's, it's lesser expensive of course pero yung accuracy level also is lower actually yung sinasabi nga sa mga references ang uh, swab test is 97 percent accuracy level and higher pero yung uh, rapid test mga 30 percent to 80 percent so still it's very low yung yung range niya from 30 percent that's, that's that's a very low accuracy level yun so um let me end this video with just saying that it is very important that we understand right and realize the difference especially kung hindi tayo masyadong familiar doon sa mga medical terms na nilalagay sa news kasi araw-araw natin yung naririnig, araw-araw din nababasa and you just imagine, of affected tayong lahat. So, mas importante na maintindihan natin kung ano talaga ang nangyayari at kung ano dapat ang test na gagawin natin. And very importantly, guys, bilang nurse, uh, kailangan, um, gusto, uh, kailangan mag-ingat tayo, we have to protect ourselves, we have to do hand washing at all times. We have to wear masks. We have to keep social distancing because as long as na wala pang, wala pang immunization para sa, sa virus na to, it's really, hindi tayo safe. Right? So thank you and please subscribe to my channel and I hope to create more videos like this. Thank you guys and have a good day.